Hey, welcome back to part four of my series on creating a new character advanced class. You may notice that my character looks different. That's because I recorded a bunch of footage on the previous character I was using and it got corrupted. Having already done stuff like kill the gargoyle as I couldn't do it again, so I had to make a new character. So here he is. I got some different gear this time just to make him look different because I was kind of tired of the bandit set. Uh, you'll notice uh, little pictures of Solaire kind of popping up. That's uh, me covering up Steam pop-ups that I was getting. I was getting a lot of messages while I played, so I cut some of it out, but other times I just put an image over it. Alright then, that all out of the way, time to kill the Bell Gargoyles. Picking up the knight's armor, which I could have just as easily gotten the elite knight set, uh, has given me a decent amount more poise and defense than I had last time, which has made things so easier. I also decided to use a broadsword plus five. It's a weapon I've never really used before, but I figured I'd just give it a shot. It's got a little bit higher damage than a normal longsword. The range might be a little shorter. I know it's shorter than the uh, sunlight straight sword, but it's still not a bad weapon. Going to use a partisan that I picked up in Dark Root to kill these hollows. I probably could have used a broadsword, but I prefer in this tight space to use a thrusting type weapon. Grabbing these soul items can go a long way in keeping you from having to grind souls early in the game. Gotta love how people put their messages in really inconvenient spots as if to trip you up. So I, I just skipped the whole section of me climbing up and ringing the bell. You guys should know what that looks like.
that camera angle is conducive to living. I figured out that pumping vitality early on can go a long way in the Capra Demon fight. It's probably going to be the most difficult fight you'll do in this walkthrough. Although maybe Ornstein and Smoke for some of you. But to me this fight is always a bit troubling because you're right on the cusp of being able to upgrade your gear more. Getting the large ember. But you're not going to be able to do it without first killing the Capra. I suppose you, nah, you probably couldn't run up through Blight Town since you wouldn't have that key, but... You know, that fight being in such tight quarters, you have the additional two dog enemies there that can block you in, and the fact that your camera may be kind of squished up against something, making it difficult to see, which happened to me quite a few times, can really make this fight a pain. I beat him first try on this build, but on the previous one where I lost my footage, I died to him a couple times, mostly due to being blocked in or camera angles. You can leap attack through these doors and kill the hollow thieves, which will make the ambush not much of an ambush, it'll just be one guy.
This guy immediately parries me. He does give me an item that I really, really want, which is the bandit's knife. That's important to get a good bleed weapon for killing the stray demon. I mean, you can do it normally, but it's so much more of a pain. Hit him three times with any bleed weapon, and you'll drain a chunk of his HP. It's pretty hassle free. Alright, it's Capra time. Notice how I juked his jump attack by heading to the right and then rolling left. It can be really difficult to dodge if you're preemptive in your rolls. Now that it's just the two of us, this fight is a lot easier. Alright, now I'm heading into the depths. The main reason I do this right away is obviously for the large ember. The plan is to farm large titanite shards and get a plus 10 weapon before you kill Quilag. A secondary objective is to get, or try and get, barbed straight sword from Knight Kirk of Thorns. But I don't actually get it this time. And then of course, uh, Laurentius. No matter what build you make, it can always be improved with the power within. I'm not really sure how I missed that drop attack. That actually happened to me on the previous recording that was corrupted as well. Very perplexing. God defeating King Rat. Oh well. And we're back.
Just the man I wanted to see. I wonder how his shield would work in the Stray Demon. I'm fairly certain it does bleed damage as well. Once I make it back to Farlink, I'm going to spend the souls that I have and then head into the asylum, or head back to the asylum. The video is going to cut out before that then though, that'll be a separate video. In the next video, my goal is to kill the stray demon and then start farming Titanite Shards going to need, I don't know, I'll probably farm 18 of them for two weapons, but I won't show it all. Then I'll kill Quilag, and maybe Ceaseless.
Anyway, that's all for this installment. Cheers.